Yes. Yes. Are you me? to start your YouTube channel. You're having a lot of thoughts about it. I think all you can think about is getting more views, getting more likes, getting more comments and all that stuff. I'm gonna talk you through what I did to get to have 33,000 views with less than 100 subscribers. And I'm telling you that it's something where you can have fun in order for you to have any type of result whatsoever. So we're gonna dive deep into it and we're gonna talk about it right about now. Welcome back to my channel, salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue de la Annie Canal, Kenichiwa, Watashino Channel Oni, Yokoso. I hope you're doing fine today, this is another day, another week, and another video of me. It's pretty much a new type of video for me because here we're gonna talk more about YouTube, the behind the scene, how you can get to have a video or a channel that actually stand out, and I'm much more onto the visual, the branding, and then the strategy. But all of that, Starts with your own confidence, start with believing in yourself, showcasing themselves into this world. More than ever, we all need those beautiful gifts that you have to offer to this world. Honestly, my own journey when it comes to being on YouTube hasn't been easy. It's so not the easiest path that you would ever have to choose, let me tell you that. It all comes down to you being passionate. And when I say passionate, it's much more so loving what to do no matter the challenges you're gonna face and right about now or nowadays we're looking for any quick solutions to make money and i'm all about it and i'm all about it for you to be able to have that success online or any type of thing like that but something that you need to remember is that you need to enjoy what you're doing hard it can be out there to make money you need to enjoy that process the thing you're gonna achieve in your life is gonna be challenging it's gonna be a struggle it's gonna be hard so you might as well just enjoy the path now when it comes to making money online when it comes to being on youtube channel i've been on youtube for over 10 years now hey welcome to my channel again Hmm, I hope you're doing all great all fine for this 206 in beginning. Hello, welcome back to my channel today. I hope you're doing fine. If you haven't yet, please subscribe because it's free and I do fashion advice. I give fashion advice. I love it. Now because I've had my last one which is like all about Valentine's and uh, it's... And let me tell you, that was interesting. You gotta realize that if you don't love it, you're gonna give up really easily. I don't speak English as my first language, right? I speak French first. So for me to be judged by potential thousand people out there, let me tell you, the fear was real, the struggle was real. I was able to see and really convince myself that it was the path for me because I'm creative. So when it comes to being on videos, it's all about connecting with you, but it's all about really enjoying the process and really getting creative with everything that YouTube can offer you. And that's my point here and that's my own goal here is to turn your own gifts into money machine if that's something that you really really want to do. You no, know, when it comes to just like having a video going viral like that or semi viral like that, you get to meet a lot of different type of people. Let's just put it that way. First step is to enjoy what you're doing because when I get to have that video going viral for me, it was after years and years of making videos, of just getting to have a habit. Make it a habit make it a habit to do consistent videos. It's not about you expecting having your first video going viral. We're not about this life here. You're gonna give up freaking easily and freaking fast because YouTube and the drug when it comes to it, I'm just like, make a schedule, make a way for you to make it work every single week because consistency here on YouTube is the biggest thing ever and you might have heard that so many times now key to get to have your video ranking higher and really being viewed by a lot more people than at the beginning so one tip is to stop the procrastination we all said that at some point i'm gonna start the youtube channel by next month i'm gonna start the youtube channel in two weeks i'm gonna start a youtube channel let's say in two months i don't know all those stuff you need to stop the procrastination here don't wait for it to be perfect or having the full ideas on whatever you're gonna talk about people what they want to see they want to see you that's why people are gonna stick around if you wait for anything that you're gonna say to be perfect 
you're gonna wait for way too long at some point you're convincing yourself that maybe it's not the right idea and you're just gonna stop right there so you're never gonna actually start being on YouTube and the more you're gonna wait the more there might be a lot more competition out there you're gonna be even less convinced by you starting it you know what I mean start it today and if you feel like you have nothing to say the only thing that I could say to you is that talk about your own story affected you in a good or a bad way if you feel really ready to talk about it obviously work on you and work on sorting things that maybe before you didn't have time to start doing it not tomorrow it's not the day after tomorrow it's now because because i love editing i love playing and really creating a vibe when it comes to just editing videos in general so it wasn't necessarily to show my own face it was for my own passion which was like asian music editing videos creating those vibes so there was nothing regarding any type of making money or anything like that use my own channel for me this is where i can't lie to you i got freaked out it's like i'm not doing it this is not i'm not about to start you know what i did it i started it and it was a step-by-step -step type of thing. My first step was for me to kind of uh, not saying anything into the videos. I was creating the videos where I was just putting the music uh, looks, putting my outfits out there. It was back then where music was not so much copyrighted type of thing, you know what I mean? Like it was easier. I got to be a lot more comfortable when it came to be in front of the camera. I'm telling you, start now. From the moment you're thinking about it, get to have a habit to just record yourself in your phone and see how you look like see how you sound like i'm telling you at the beginning you might feel like you sound disgusting i did have that feeling at some point in my life i was like this is not right like people are gonna burn me out here all those thoughts and it was more much more my imposter syndrome than anything else to be honest to know who you are who you are as a person what kind of personality do you have really easy to fall into the trap of watching other YouTube videos and wanting to do the exact same thing to the point of literally copying the exact same persona if you get to forget yourself people are not gonna relate to you because they're gonna feel like something is just not right and even if you need to be a little bit more cray cray I'm not necessarily the most I would say laid back person when it comes to it I felt like for so many years I had to fit in I had to fit into a mold I watch a lot of youtubers doing that and there were some that were a little bit more extra and I love them because I could relate to them actually if you feel like watching any type of video maybe the person is too extra maybe it's not a video for you maybe it's not even the channel for you but it has to be okay for you break on to not trying to attract everyone to your channel not everybody is gonna like you this is just the way it is sometimes like people hate you for some nonsense thing let's just put it that way be able to love yourself in a way and know yourself in a way where people when they're gonna come to you whether it's a good or a bad thing you are able to take it on it because it's just being you so don't be afraid of being you if you're a little bit extra if you need to have that background that i love a draw a ton i love this i love i love this drawing i'm like i'm like, I'm like crazy about this drawing and i love this mask i'm just like i love this mask but anyways it's not the point here besides that point if you need to be a little bit more original make it in a way that is being true to yourself as simple as that on private life i'm a really sarcastic person I love to smile, I love to laugh from time to time, I'm telling you. I'm telling. I accept people the way they are. If you have that gift, trying to be somebody else is just gonna ruin your own unique gift that you already have. We don't want that, we don't want that, I don't want that for you. Is to call to action. Call to action when it comes to being on YouTube is super important thing. Give it a thumbs up, comment down below and let me know what was your best takeaways from it. This is what I do for myself and this is what a lot of YouTubers do out there. So it's, it's not that they don't want to subscribe to your channel. And at the beginning I found it weird because I was like, well, I mean, it just makes sense for people to just do it if they want to do it. The reality is, even for myself, sometimes I'm gonna watch a lot of YouTube videos of a lot of people that I love, admire and, and I forget to add comments. I forget to like, I forget to subscribe. And sometimes it could be months until I realize that I'm not even subscribed to that channel so having the call to action just remind people of just doing something if they like your video have a way when your video is public to 
boot and pin your question down there for people to be able to answer to that come to you having a lot more comments to play with the algorithm here on youtube make it easy and clear for people to be potential subscribers and even clients at some point wise you need to think about your thumbnails nowadays it's more important than ever it's like a door to your house people don't know you people have yet to know you so they need to be attracted to some type of visual they need to be attracted to some type of interesting or intriguing titles I'm not really big into clickbait but the bad side about it is that when people they watch your videos and they feel like they haven't got what you actually said you were gonna talk about they feel some type of distrust here have a hard time trusting you more when it comes to any other type of video you're gonna put out there they get to talk about anything you're gonna have on your title that's all i can say thumbnail wise the visual it's super 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 important and i'm gonna have a couple of videos after it's to have friendly content way for you to have general type of content that people can easily find but at the same time they have to be specific you know how it's like weird here to say like like specific but general at the same time let's say you want to talk about style of fashion in general you can say look stylish for example you might have to add something a much more specific to your title to make it a little bit more relevant to the situation right now to be able to rank up higher at the same time you want to add a little bit twist about it just to make it intriguing emotional you know what i mean where people can connect they can feel some type of way that's why it's so important to talk to people that might be your potential subscribers out there either on instagram or on facebook groups to ask the questions what are the topics that you're looking for on youtube and even more searching for the wording super 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 important you can read the minds this is all the magic behind the wording so take it into consideration and i'm telling you people are gonna feel like girl she read into my mind what is that this I hope you liked it. I hope you adored it. Let me know what was your best takeaway from it. And of course, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it yet. And if you like that type of video, because it's gonna be a really, really great mix of personal style, type your branding, type your own confidence, and really, really crush it on YouTube because you're worth it and you have unique gifts that people need more than ever right now. Just saying. Be cray cray, be serious, be straight to the bullet, be, you know, be whatever you want to be. I don't judge anyone out there, you know what I mean? So I expect you to not judge me, you know what I mean? If you have any type of question when it comes to YouTube or behind the scene, I'm gonna have a lot more videos when it comes to that. So just let me know and definitely share with me what is your biggest struggle being on YouTube or just starting a YouTube channel in general. Let me know down below. J'espère que vous avez aimé cette vidéo. J'espère que vous avez adoré cette vidéo. Je commencer à faire des vidéos un petit peu plus approfondies par rapport à YouTube l'algorithme de YouTube, comment développer sa personnalité, engagement, c'est fou, anglais, français, japonais, at some point, never mind. Je vais parler de YouTube, de behind the scenes, qu'est-ce que je fais avec mes vidéos, comment est-ce qu'on peut travailler sur la qualité de la vidéo sans avoir à dépenser euh, littéralement ses économies. Le behind the scenes of YouTube, how I do my video, how I did my video, how to really stand out when it comes to visual, when it comes to your branding, when it comes to your own confidence, and really getting that engagement where it should be, especially being, being a small YouTuber. So I hope you liked it. I hope you liked it. I'm gonna see you for my next video, and like I say all the time, smile because it's free and contagious in a good way. Bye.